Hey guys, so, um, sorry about this, uh, blanket here. I'm using it to put under the tripod to see if I can maybe get the sound a little bit less on this camera. Anyway, here's a little Bluetooth headset thing I found on the ground earlier. So I'm going to be taking it apart and just trying to see what's inside. Um, so if you lost a Bluetooth headset on the ground, um, you're going to see it destroyed. So... This might be a little weird to do it on camera, but we'll just take off this, take off this ear thing. Sorry if you can't really see what I'm doing. So that just sort of popped off. This thing too should just. I don't want to break it. Well, looks like I might have to. There's probably little clips in there that I could get into with one sec with the screwdriver. Here we go here, maybe this little tip thing could get in it. Again, sorry about that blanket poking in. Yeah, there we go. So that just sort of popped up nice and easy. Oh, okay, this is a lot simpler than it looks. Sorry, again, sorry if I'm getting it off camera. It's kind of difficult because I'm not actually doing it through the camera. So, um, as you can see, it's just got a little mini USB connector. Take off that button. Okay. Looks like that front cover can just snap off. You see some circuitry down there, but I'm not happy with just that. I want to get this plastic off, too. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's see. That's all we're going to be able to get out. That was really simple. I just popped it open with a little screwdriver head. Um, that's the speaker. I point to this thing. That's the speaker there. I can feel the magnetism. So that should just pop out again with our screwdriver. I really have no um, I want to save this. Perhaps I might use the Bluetooth module that's inside. And then in here looks to be perhaps one of these little um, motors, you know, that, that vibrate, but I'm not really sure. Maybe it's the microphone. It's probably the microphone. I don't know. Let's see. I'll, I'll get into detail about the circuit later. Um, that's weird. Where do these wires go? One to each side. Ah, it looks like there's some sort of switch in this clip. Or maybe it goes to that microphone. I don't know. Let's see if we can remove the clip. Whoa. Okay, so it looks like that's a button there. As you can see, the red and blue wires coming from the circuit board go up through each side into this thing, so... Ah, it's the microphone. <laughs> Little mini condenser microphone. Okay. Wow. Cool. Oh, sorry, that's my brothers. Not much I can do about them. Okay, so here's our circuit board. That's obviously your speaker. That's obviously your condenser microphone. Right there. Okay, so here's the circuit. That right there is a little... Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, not really, okay. That right there is a little button. That, I think, is one of those surface mount crystals. This right here, let me take a look at it one sec off camera. Okay, that is probably your main CPU. That's a sub-CPU. You got some other circuitry down here. That's probably the USB circuitry. 
because it's right next to the USB jack. You got one of these little mini side buttons here. I'm not sure if you can hear that here. And then here is the, that was the sound of that side button, here's the sound of the button on the front. Not sure if you can hear that or not. It is pretty quiet. So that's your USB right there, USB jack. And then this is obviously your Bluetooth module. So, um, let's see if you can see what it says or not. Um, maybe there. If I zoom in, I'm not, not good at. Here it says Motorola Bluetooth hand headset uh, SYN1618C um, made in China. Anyway, this is the little Bluetooth module it uses to communicate. So that's something that I might actually use. But anyway, so yeah, look, that, there's your um, looks probably like a sub CPU. Let me take it off camera one sec. Yeah, I don't recognize the part name, but you have like a main CPU and perhaps like a Bluetooth interface module. That's the crystal right there for probably this one, or it could be this one also. This is definitely the USB circuitry because it's right under the USB jack. Let me see if I can pop this Bluetooth module up. They are pretty fragile, so looks like they got a little bit of hot glue on it. sliding off my desk. Anyway, remove this hot glue. See if we can expose this. Uh, take off the Bluetooth module. Okay. There we go. Looks like I snapped off the Bluetooth module. And, um, some little thing down there. It's kind of sticky a little bit. It appears to be like a film some sort of film. Anyway, these are the power connections going to the Bluetooth. Perhaps it's sort of like a connector of some sorts, because it's got little, like, uh, almost vias, but they don't have holes in them. Little pads, I guess. I don't know. For a connection. Then on the bottom you got this black tape, so I'm not sure what that's about. No, it appears that it's not a connector. Or, oh, maybe this is the battery. Okay, this is not the Bluetooth. This is the battery. Little, um, battery. I see. Okay. So it appears that one of these... Okay, so that's not the Bluetooth. That's the battery, sorry. It appears that one of these is the Bluetooth. And, uh, one of these is the CPU. Oh, and you got, um... Cool. Uh, these are the, the buttons on the side. Anyway, that's what's inside a um, Bluetooth headset thing. You have a main CPU, probably a Bluetooth module. Um, that's probably the crystal for the Bluetooth module. Some USB circuitry, some miscellaneous other stuff. A battery. It doesn't say what the capacity is. 125 milliamp hours. There we go. This is a 125 milliamp hour, 3.7 probably lie on battery, but I'm not sure about that. So I probably use this battery in another project. Or I'm not sure if it's a battery or battery pack, you know. But yeah, I probably use the battery and also the speaker might come in handy. And uh, for all those, you can check out my homemade microphone and maybe make a really tiny microphone with this thing. Anyway, that's what you got. So... You know, nothing too complicated, as you can see. It's pretty easy to design circuits. So for this battery, I could probably take some electro electrical tape. I'll just show you if you happen to have one of these and you want to use the battery, what you probably should do.
a piece of electrical tape. Peel it off a little bit. Take your battery and run it over the wires and the connector and just um, wrap it up a bit for some strain relief or else those wires will come off of the, um, the battery. And now you can cut them off of the PCB after you cut the electrical tape. So just cut that electrical tape off. Put that to the side, now you have your battery. Any text there that you would need though. And then just sort of pinch it up on that end. And there's your little battery. I'll probably use this in one of my little projects. Um, I'm not sure what the uh, that I could really use any of this stuff because I don't have a hot air gun to desolder this SMD stuff. I do have a little um, frying pan though that I use on the stove that actually works actually. Um, yeah, so it doesn't, none of this is really any use to me, um, but you know, it is cool to look at how they build it. Pretty simple construction, and um, looks like doesn't look too far off of something like somebody like a hobbyist could use. But uh, you know what? Just for fun, I'm going to try and peel off this film here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it appears this film is like a sticky tape, and that under there is. Uh, don't know what that could be. They're not actually putting any circuitry under there. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Um, hope you appreciate this video. Bye.